the headset. Can you go ahead and jump out first and then pack it? And then you can put the headset once you get out there, take it off, and I'll just put it right here. Welcome to Good Morning Pahrump. I'm your host, Dan Jaquish. We're here today with Leo Fitzgerald from IntroFlights.com. Welcome to the show, Leo. Good morning. Nice to, nice to be here, Dan. Hey, well, that was a fun flight into the studio. <laughs> yeah, that was nice and smooth out there today. Good air. So what, what can you tell us about IntroFlights.com? Well, what IntroFlights.com is, is it's a, it's a way to learn how to fly at uh, at your own pace and uh, in any type of flying that you would like to do is is available. Uh, love to love to just make people's dreams come true and uh, get them in the air. Now this is, I understand, an ultralight type aircraft that's behind us. Yes, this is actually this is a light sport aircraft which evolved from an ultralight, but uh, but yeah, a very light aircraft, easy airplane to operate. What kind of fuel does this run off of? What, what, what kind of engine does this have on it? Now this just burns regular car gas, so uh, very affordable to operate. Uh, burns about three gallons, three to four gallons an hour. And you don't need any special aviation gas or anything like that? No, you don't. So how easy is it to learn how to fly one of these? How, how would somebody get started doing that? Well, the first thing to do would be to come out, and we call it an intro flight, just inter introduce you to, uh, you know, uh, what it feels like to be in inside one of these things and actually control it uh, and and that's the beginning of uh, you know whether you like it or not and then from there we can we can start hourly lessons and based on your skills it's relatively easy to fly and uh, it, it's just a great uh, great sense of freedom and you can do your classes anywhere I understand yes I can I can wherever you'd like to be we can come bring the airplane to you and uh, uh, all over the country but you're primarily out of Pahrump. Yes, we are. We live at Pahrump up at the airport. Cal, Calvada Meadows Airport is where we live. We've lived there for the past year. Just a great place to fly out here in Pahrump Valley. There's just so many, there's so much of God's beauty to, to, uh, to see from just a little bit different angle. Now, do you have to fly in perfectly smooth weather? Can you fly in just about any kind of wind? Now, it just depends on your pilot capability. You know, of course, to learn how to fly, you would definitely want good weather conditions. And, uh, uh, but, I mean, for the most part, you can fly in whatever the airplane, you know, capacity is. And, and you, you as a pilot, whatever you're comfortable flying in. Now, do you need a long runway area to be able to fly with this? Can you land on like a dry lake bed or a, an open field? Yes, you can. It, it takes anywhere from 100 to uh, 500 feet to take off and land. You know, of course, uh, different density altitudes, different, you know, may, may cause a little more distance to take off and roll out. But uh, for the most part, very quick takeoff and landings. So I'm, I'm looking at this, um, your plane here. And I see that you've got lights on it, and it's got lights on the wingtips. Can you fly in the evening? Yes, you can. The, the The plane is capable. It's just up to the type of license that you have, whether you're uh, able to fly at night or not. What types of licenses are there for flying one of these? Okay, this requires a pilot's license, and the first entry level of a pilot's license is a light sport aircraft or a light sport. Uh, it's actually called a sport pilot license, which uh, it, it uh, takes 15 hours of dual instruction, five hours of uh, you flying the bird solo by yourself uh, is what it takes, a total of 20 hours to, to acquire that license. Now, are there some requirements with that where you have to stay out of one airport or in one area with a light sport license? As of any uh, uh, flying, there is uh, there is limitations on what you can do. The, the sport pilot license is limited in, in several ways, like you cannot fly at, not, at night under a sport pilot's license. Uh, you can't fly for hire and just uh, you can only fly two people or one person, you and a, and a passenger, uh, is is what light sport is set up. Again, it's it's mainly for the guy that just wants to go have fun and on a recreational basis uh, is what the sport pilot license is designed for. Okay, so what what type of um, what type of license do you have for instructing for this? I've I've got a CFI license, uh, which I'm licensed to uh, 
to teach people to fly. And, uh, and, and it's based on their ability. Some people catch on to this relatively quick, you know, in just a matter of a few hours, they're like, hey, they want me out of the back seat. You know, of course it takes a little bit of, you know, getting to know the air and, and, the, and the aircraft. But on a general basis, eight to 10 hours is pretty good time to be able to solo. So let's take a look at the, um, the plane itself and talk a little bit about the controls on it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, and I'm sure our viewers are, um, how you actually fly this. Let, let's walk you bet. around here to the side you bet. and take a look. So I don't see a steering wheel or a yoke on here. What, what do you hang on to for your... Uh, for your left and right controls. What this is, Dan, is a weight shift control. So we call this a neutral position when the wing is right at a comfortable position. And, and then to turn it, you just shift your weight one direction or the other. And, and it, likes, it likes the neutral position. Altitude is throttle. Uh, you want to go up, you can give it more throttle. You can enhance it by shoving the bar forward. Uh, to go down, you can, you can dump the throttle off or you can pull the bar back or both, uh, just depending on uh, what you want to do. So that's all your controls, left, right, up and down, and they're all controlled off of this bar? Yes, that, that's correct, Dan. Now, are there separate controls, when we rolled up here, um, are there separate controls for steering on the ground? You, you obviously wouldn't use this bar for steering. Yeah. Correct. There is, it's tricycle steering and it does have controls in the front and it's got what we call dual steering, which you can control that from the back seat. So, and then you have a throttle, a throttle just as a car and then a brake on the ground. Of course, there's no brake in the air, um, but very, very relatively easy to fly. And there's dual controls for the front and back seat too. Yes. Yes, there are. And if somebody wants to take a class from you or go on their intro flight, um, where, where would you sit as the pilot and where would the students sit? I would sit in the back seat uh, and then the, the, when you're learning, of course, in the front seat is, is optimum. You have beautiful vision and very good controls from the front seat. Okay, and um, engine controls on this, um, you, you have engine controls on the front and the back seat? Yes, uh, we've got not only the throttle control, but we also have uh, mags on the back. So in an emergency, if I needed to turn the motor off, I can turn the motor off from the back seat. Hey, we're going to go to commercial break in just a few seconds. What is your website and what is your contact phone number if somebody wants to get in touch with you and take their intro flight? Okay, my, uh, my website is uh, introflights.com and all my information is on that website. Uh, my phone number is area code 509-280-0163. I'd be glad to get you in the air and, and start your dream rolling. And you're pretty much located in Pahrump, but you can travel to different locations too. Yes, that's correct, Dan. And do you, do you do anything out of Las Vegas? You bet. There's lots of sightseeing in, in Vegas. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people come from all over the world. Look, come, look me up on the website. We're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be back in two minutes.